Hi, I'm so happy to be back filming videos for you. It has been a long, long minute with my Camino this summer, um, walking across Spain and doing that pilgrimage. Um, it just took so much of my time and I am back to filming videos for you, for you to get your workouts in with me. So today we have squats and lunges. We are gonna flip flop back and forth between the two. We're gonna be working for one minute of each, including some other movement to work arms and shoulders, core. So it's gonna end up being a full body, but our concentration today is gonna to be on those squats and lunges. Are you excited? You're gonna love this one. I have my eight pound set of weight, which I consider on the heavier side um, right now, still building back in. I did all that walking, but I'm still trying to build up my strength again so that I don't injure myself. So I'm just working my way back up. So my eights are my heavy right now. Um, so just consider that you want your heavy, um, that you consider heavy for challenge. Um, we're going to be doing overhead presses, we're going to be doing lateral raises, triceps, biceps. All right, so I uh, have water, um, take a break at any time that you need to. Let's get started with a little bit of rotation here. And welcome back to Anywhere Fitness with April. All right, so as I was away, I did get to do one video in Biarritz in France. I had hoped to do one at the Eiffel Tower, but I woke up and I went to walk down to the Eiffel Tower and you could not see the Eiffel Tower. It was just all fogged in that day. Gonna angle up now and press away. So I was a little disappointed, if you can believe that. <laughs> I really wanted that. Give me four more. Four, three, two, take those arms out. We're gonna go ham curl. So we're just getting movement in. We wanna get those bodies prepared for what's to come. Yes. We will be heading down to the floor on our last two movements. Um, so if you want a mat, you can do that um, at the end, pull that mat out. <sighs> we'll be more in plank form, so I didn't get my mat out today. I'm gonna cross it in here, those shoulders moving. All right, and here we are together. Heels are up to those glutes, feel those quads. Give me four more, we're gonna go wide knees. Two, one, and here we go, up, up. Perfect. So it'll be a big flip-flop day, flip-flopping between those squats and lunges. Once we do two moves, one with squat, one with lunges, then we repeat the two movements. Four, three, two, and let's squat. Here we go. Yes. So with lunges, our legs work independently. So in order to work the other leg, we have to do another set. So as I was writing this up, I figured, well, we may as well do another set of those squats too. Yes. <laughs> Aren't you lucky? Four, and three, and two, and one. Hold it up, big arm circle. Drop those hips, big arm circle. Breath in and out. Feel free to put music on in the background. You want to hear me breathing. <laughs> All right, two, last one. Take those hands to the thighs, hinge it back, turn those toes out and let's drop those shoulders. Right here. Shoulders coming in toward that midline, hand pushing the leg away. Feel that pressure outward as you drop inward. Got an ear going toward the floor. Should feel good. Four, three, two. Now, come center with that upper body. Turn your toes forward, step out, and we're gonna do lateral lunges. Here we go. Feel the pressure 
going back into your heels, of course, but you have that weight going back. Remember, you never want to come forward like this with that lunge, always shifting to that rear. Great way to think about it and always be connected to the movement is thinking about your feet. If you feel pressure in the balls of the feet, you know you're coming forward. Always staying in the heels. You have four, three, two, and you're going to slide in. Chins under, heads down, slowly roll it up. Roll those shoulders back. Good, a few shoulder rolls here. And then take your hands behind your hips. Stretch the chest, front of the shoulders. And take those arms out front, upper back stretch, tuck the hips under. Are you feeling ready? All right, left foot comes forward, sit back. Reach out that left arm. All right. So we are going to be starting with a squat outer thigh with an overhead press. Sit back and lengthen that right leg. If you fatigue at any time, you can always drop one of your weights, okay? Hands down on the thighs, slowly roll it up, shoulders back and down. So on this first move, if you feel fatigue, drop one and you're going to work it like this. So we have that outer thigh that we're doing as well. All right. So we're going to grab both those weights and you are ready. Weights in rack position, feet a little wider, <clears throat> excuse me, than those hips. We're going to hinge back, squat outer thigh, left leg. Here we go. We have begun. Let's do it. Take your time on the down, lengthen to the top. Think of your breathing, exhale. As you come down, sit back. Here we go. Long arms. Those weights. Coming on each side of the jaw. Feel that low. You got it. All right. Your lunge is coming up. It's going to be a transverse lunge. One more here and come in. All right, transverse lunge. I want you to position looking right at me here. Toes forward, okay? You want to have your toes are 12 o'clock. You're going to look at 3 o'clock, and then you're going to step out to 4 o'clock. So you're going to have your weights here at 90. You're going to step out to 4 o'clock, shift back, and then come up to lateral raise. All right. Are you ready? Here we go. And out. Transverse lunge. And lift. All the weight on that right heel, your left heel, I should say, and up. Inhale, exhale. Here we go. Adding in those shoulders again. Chest is high. Make sure you get a big step back. Big step back. Remember, you're not going to two o'clock. Go to four. Feel the glutes. Outer glute on that right, left, I keep saying right side, it's your left side, you're mirroring me. Inhale, let's go. Breath in, breath out. All right, give me one more. And come in, drop those arms, shake it out. Widen those legs, a little wider than the hips. How are we doing so far? Are we good? Waist back to rack position. Squat, outer thigh right. Here we go. Overhead press. Other side. Same positioning. Getting that hinge. Sinking in. There it is. 
guys. If you fatigue, you can even do one with a raise, one without. So option there. Whew. Lifting that outer thigh, lifting that leg out, working that outer thigh, feeling those obliques. Those shoulders, those lats, those triceps on the press. Yes, almost there. Last one. All right, drop those arms, march it. All right, now we're gonna go back to eight o'clock. Arms, 90. Step back that right leg, here we go. And raise, down, and raise. Think of those abs pulling in. One at a time. Hope you're breathing like me. Breath out. Finding that intensity. Working in with those legs and those arms. Finding each movement, working through each one. Almost there. And back. Come on, sit lower. You have one more. All right. And come in. All right, those ones are done. We flip flop back and forth. Your next one is going to be a duck walk with a squat. Weights in rack. We're going to come down nice and low making sure those elbows stay out front. The weights aren't resting on the shoulders. Get those wrists in alignment. We're gonna hinge back. We're gonna walk forward four, squatting. Two, three, now back. Now forward, come on. Toes are turned slightly out and back. Forward. And back, feeling those legs because we haven't stood back up. So the intensity continues to add on on each one. There's no release. Whew. Woo! Come on, down, down. Back, feeling those glutes work through, even some inner thigh. With those toes turned out, 10 seconds. And that's Lizzie. And come up, shake out those legs. All right, now your rear lunge. Gonna hinge back here. All right, so make sure the knees aren't forward, hips back. And you're gonna step back that left leg and row, come forward, row, come forward. Notice the upper body stays at a forward position. So we're not coming up tall. So we're loading that right glute. Now try to drop the knee as the elbows come up. Yeah. Woo. Land on the toes of the back foot. Oh yeah. Shoulder blades pulling together and together. Woo! Come on. How's that right glute feeling? Oh my goodness. Yeah. No denying it here. Nope. Locked and loaded. Locked in place and loading. Last one back. And then come up. Wow. I call that dead. All right, now we get to duck walk again. Bring those weights up. Hips back. Ready? Here we go. Duck walk, squat. 
Duck walk, squat. And back. Stay with me. If you fatigue, come a little higher for one. Okay? Then drop in. And back. And forward. And back. Come on. Heels, 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 heels. Toe ball heel, toe ball heel. Almost there. How low are you? Come on. Yes. As low as you can. All you have to do is go back. And come up. Do you still feel that right glute? I do. So we know we're gonna work the left side. Okay, so we're gonna hinge back. Here we go. Right leg comes back, row. Bend the back knee. So that way, the knee's dropping, the hips are falling. together. Keep that back heel up. Yes. Oh, it's feeling very even. It's getting dead. 15 seconds. Oh, we can do it. Come on. Power through it. And last one. Knee down and come up. Now drop your weights for a moment. Let's shake them out. There we go. Grab some water. That felt good. Now before you pick up your weights, do me a favor. Palms up, rotate. Now our next move, we're gonna be upright for the first minute, so it'll feel good to unload that back. Okay, so we're gonna be in plie. So we're gonna stay nice and tall. So plie, toes turn way out, feet are wide. So notice when I come down and my knees are over my ankles. If I'm not wide enough, look what happens. My knees go out over my toes and then I can't work my glutes. So you step out, drop in, inner thigh, Feeling those glutes. And we want to try to do is not lean forward or hinge back. We're going to try to turn out enough that we can come down and up without that hinge. Okay? So big turn out. <clears throat> You're going to grab one heavy. Okay? We're going to be doing tricep extensions. We're going to come all the way up. Now, when we drop down the hips, we're gonna drop down that weight behind, just to the base of the neck. Hips drop all the way down, and then we're gonna come up. Here we go. Exhale at the top. Good, now just bring that chin in just a little. Breath out. Each top, good. Now I always think of my chest, trying to stay elevated here. <sighs> low to high, low to high. Really work that low. Get down, how's the triceps? <sighs> Back of those arms, trying to stay narrow. Arms inward toward the head, knees outward. You got this. All right, last one. And come up. Take the weight into the right hand. 
All right. We're going to take that left arm out. You're going to come down. That elbow is going to come up. Tricep extension. And then raise. Come down. Row. Tricep extension. Down. Then row. Did we get that? I'll work you through it. It's going to be a big lateral lunge. Send it out. Here we go. Come down. Row. Kick back. Down. Row. Down row. Kick back. Down. Up row. So notice how long you are staying down into that lunge right here. As you row and kick back. Getting all that power into those glutes, feeling those obliques, isolating that arm, working core. Wow. Come on. Yes. Shoulders and back. Feel those inner thighs, outer glutes. Got time for one more. How about it? Come on, send it back. Bring it down, bring it up, march it here. All right, ready for more. Turn those toes out. All right, arms are gonna come up. This time, we're gonna drop the hips and the hips are gonna stay down. Here we go. So inner thighs are gonna stay at work. No release there. Here we go. <clears throat> Now, if you fatigue, elevate a little, do about four, and then try to come back down to low. I always try to relax my shoulders as I come down from that extension. Try to let them go. All right, you're halfway. How's the legs? Woo, tight abs. <clears throat> Doing great. Your chins are dropped. Necks are long. All right, 15 seconds. This is where you focus on power. Make it surge. Inner strength. Find it. Come on, you can do this. Last one down. Bring it in front. Hips up. All right, weight into that. Left hand. Right arm's gonna come out. Remember, we step really long. Those hips come back. Ready? Here we go. Row, kick back. Drop and row. Feeling those shoulders, those backs, those triceps. Oh, sorry, forgot that in there. Oh, speaking of triceps, right there. Come on. There we go. Back, down, and up. Down, back, down, and up. I feel that inner thigh on that right side. Up, send it back. Oh yes. Hip shift back. Pressure in the heels. Do that again. Goodness gracious. I hope you didn't miss that tricep like I did. All right, two more. Bring it back. Yes. Last one. Row, kick back. And row, and release. March it out right here. Woo hoo. All right. Now you just need one. You're gonna hold it here. We're gonna take our legs a little wider than the hips. All right, so we're gonna get that hinge now. We're not gonna be in plie, so the toes just have a slight turnout. You're gonna go down to the bottom, just like this. You could come halfway down and then up, or I'm gonna encourage you to hop at the bottom, and then we add a forward raise. Okay, so squat, hop, bottom or squat halfway, here we go. Forward raise. 
Forward raise. <clears throat> Feel that low. Remember after the squat, hop, go back down to squat. So it's squat, hop, squat, raise. Think of your glutes, tight, strong. Doing great. As soon as those arms come forward, that core is working. Go. Almost there. Oh yes. Last one. And bring it up. All right. We're gonna grab that other heavy. And shake out those legs. We're gonna to go to rear lunge. You're gonna hold the bottom, bicep curl, and then come up to bicep curl. So we're gonna start with that left leg, step long, toes, drop, and come in. Here we go, down hold, biceps, top, bottom, top. Bend the back knee. Now on these, we're staying tall. No forward lean. And up. Yeah? If you fatigue, do the bottom. And then eliminate the top curl. So far, so great. Come on. Back knee bends toward the floor. Dropping the hips on that, that left leg, your right leg, those hips are falling, trying to get level with the knee. Oh yeah, come on, down, curl, so close. Can you do one more? Yes, and come up, drop one. Okay. Weight between each. Hand, drop, little hop. Here we go. Forward raise. Squat, hop, squat, raise. Squat, hop, squat, raise. Whew. Whew. Yes. Feel each. One, as you go back down. When you come out, squeeze the glutes. Ready? Squeeze as you raise. Coming tall. Yes, we're low, powering. Come on. <clears throat> Woo -hoo. Almost there. Last one, and march it out. Grab that other heavy. Biceps again. Right leg, down, curl, and up. Exhale, as you curl, chest high. Down, up, down, up. So good. <clears throat> Flip flopping today. Squats, lunges, squats, lunges. Whew. And up. Trying to stay stable. These lunges work so much core as you try to keep that stability. So close. We're gonna get water real quick. Are you ready? Come up, drop your weights. Ah, quick break. 
Mm. Well done. All right, one more standing combo. And then we'll come down. Remember I promised two on the floor. One of each, the squat, the lunge. And you're like, how are we gonna squat and lunge on the floor? But it's gonna be fun, I promise. All right, we're gonna look at what we're doing. Plie squat with rotation, yay. Grab both those weights. And we go plie. So what do we do? Wide, wide. Toes out, oh yeah. Now our palms are gonna be up. We're gonna drop those hips and we're gonna rotate. Three, two, one. Rotate. So core is really gonna be involved here. You're locking in the legs and then adding that rotation. So by not moving the hips, you encourage that core to be the worker. Woo, yes. Arms in that 45 degree. So you should be feeling some more biceps. Bonus here. Staying low. Remember that slight lift and then come back down if you're fatiguing. Keep it strong. Your next move is gonna be a stationary lunge where we're gonna be on one leg, 90-90, but we're gonna stay at the bottom just like we are here. All right, almost there. <coughs> then we're only gonna need one weight because we're gonna use our weight as a paddle. Four, three, two, one, come up. All right, drop that weight, one. Left leg. So you're gonna hold that weight just like this, just like we did in those squat hops. We're gonna take that right leg, step it way back. Now remember in lunge as well, hip distance, especially on this one, step back, hip distance. So picture you're on a railroad track, step that right foot back on the track drop down, and with that foot at hip distance, instead of being too narrow, it gives you stability. Send it back, drop it in. Now, we're gonna row to the right and then to the left hip. Here we go. You're gonna bring the oar, your weight, right by the front knee. Then you're gonna come up by the hip, down. And then we're gonna try to stay stable. So if you wobble a little, that's work, because we have to try to not wobble. <sighs> Come on, here we go. Lift the oar out of the water, down and out, down and out. Back knee almost on the floor. Come on, load that left leg. Yes, Come on. <sighs> you got it. Okay, you got 15 seconds. Feeling that low. Oh man, feeling a lot of quads here. A lot of inner quad, outer glute. Come on. Last time and come up. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, now you're gonna pick up that weight again. Okay, so we have both. Then we go out to plie. We drop down, knees turned out, hips under. Here we go. One more minute here. You're gonna feel that left leg, aren't you? Yep. And then we'll even it out. <clears throat> Think of those belly buttons. Pull, in, in. Yes. Feeling those backs, those biceps, those obliques, transverse abdominis, inner thigh, outer glute. Quads, quads. You have less than 30 seconds. Oh yeah, you're doing it. Staying with me. You're trying, you're fighting, <coughs> you're achieving. 
working past what you thought you could. Come on. Through the hard. Pass the challenge and come up. Wow. All right. One more minute. Right leg forward. Hip distance. Slide back left. Drop in. Here we go. Objective here. Back knee almost on the floor. Remember the paddle. Going in by the knee, back to the hip. Pressure in your heel out front. Yes. You got it. Keep breathing. Keep lowering. Sometimes you end up coming back up, but then you think, no, I can get lower. I can. I can. Feeling those abs. Work through one at a time. Right here. Finish strong. Finish strong. Four, three, two, step in. Wow. All right, so I hope you are feeling those legs from that lunge squat combination today. But I hope you felt so much core biceps, shoulders. All right, now our next move is on the floor. So if you want to grab your mat, do so here. Now you have an option to work with something a little bit higher. So if you feel that you have strain in your back at any time, lower back, you can always put your hands down on a nice flat surface, walk back, walk in. Okay, then we're gonna go back and in, then you're gonna bring your hands up. So there's our squat as we walk back into plank, okay? So that's gonna be our squat working core. So we're gonna come down, we're gonna get that squat, legs are wide, take the hands down, walk back the left leg, walk in the left leg, hands up, here we go back. So it's going to be the left leg the whole time. Hot. Come on. Up. Up. <clears throat> so those hips get opened here with those toes turning out and then bringing that upper body up. Feel the hips opening. For those inner thighs. As you go back, go back long. Feel the plank. Long. Feel the quads as you step back. Tight quads, tight quads, glutes, glutes. And here, and come up. Well done. Now our next move, it's gonna be lunge from plank form. And you can do the same thing here. You're gonna be back in plank. You're gonna lunge, open the arm, down, back. Same leg, open, down, back. You can do that or come into the floor. So we're going to come out, come out to plank. Now you're going to step that left leg in. Make sure your quads are tight. Knees can always come down. Here we go. Step left in, open. Now come back. Step left, open. So you're getting that forward lunge. Make sure your arm stays right under shoulder. And we're opening, 
that chest. Feeling the right quad staying tight. Feel that left glute as you step forward. Woo! Come on. How are we? Are you hanging in there? Last one. Now, bend your knees. Come back to child's pose. Woo! That was good. Bring your hands in. Go back to your toes. Heels down. And roll it up here. All right. Roll. Now take the hands behind the hips. Open the chest. All right. We repeat the other side and then you're done. My notes are finished. <laughs> All right. So you know the move. Don't your hips feel good? Isn't this a great way to finish? Kind of taking those fatigued legs and getting that range of motion. Here we go. Come down. Right leg back. Right leg in. Elevate if needed. On that higher surface. Remember, come back. Straight legs, tight quads. And then elevate. Make sure your chest and shoulders are higher than hips. workload. Still powering you one at a time. Come on. Breathe. Breathe. You got this. All right. Last one. Long legs. Now come in and come up. March. You have one more minute. All right, so you're gonna go out to plank. Step back, right leg forward, arm up, back, lunge, push in that heel into the floor, dig down, lift. You're on your way to your finish. So close, guys. She heard me say I'm almost done. Are we almost done? Yes. You have one more. Right here. Knees down. Back to child's pose. Great job. Bring those hands to those knees. Come back to the toes and roll it up slowly. Wow. Terrific job, you guys. <sighs> I want you to shake out the legs. Woo. Hope you got sweaty. I even have the air conditioning on really low in here. But that's what happens when we really push. All right, so we're going to step touch. Nice and easy. I'm so proud of you. Come on. Now, hand curl. Feel the quads. Wow. Easy. Less intensity. Now lift your knees up. We're gonna stretch through that lower back right here. So take that upper body, round it just a little. Yeah. Four, three. Now your hand's gonna to touch the inside of your foot. It could be the shin or the calf. Now take that opposite arm all the way up. Oh, lateral line stretch. 
eight left. Enjoy it. Four, three, two, and one. All right, hands again behind the hips. Let's stop those legs open, drop the shoulders. Well done. Squats really help increase flexibility oh, right through your hips. Thinking about all the movements that you do, helping your fitness goals, but also just your everyday uh, life. Going in and out, upper back stretch to your car, carrying things in, gardening, you name it. Open those arms. We're the furthest thing from sedentary, correct? So these types of movements just help us just keep generating more strength. Release, especially getting mobility and flexibility. So squats and lunges do just that. All right, so that left arm's gonna come across, right arm's gonna come up. Feel that shoulder just drop and release. Well done, take it to the other side. And then open both arms. You're gonna slide back that left leg, bend the knee, take your hands as if you're putting them in your back pocket. Tuck your hips under and then push that chest out. Feel the stretch of the hip flexors and the quads. And then you're gonna take that left leg, it's gonna come forward, hamstring stretch, sit back and reach out here. Heaviness behind you, push back. And then come up and then take that right leg, send it back, nice and big. Good, stay up on the toes, bend the knee, front knee in alignment, hands in the back pocket. Shoulders back, chest up, sink into it, and then tighten that glute and feel the hip. Just opening, feel the quads. And then coming up and then taking that right leg forward, sitting those hips back here and reaching out. Looking down at that right foot. Thank you for working so hard. Joining me today, roll it up. Feel those shoulders come back and down. We're gonna open out those legs. We do this in warm up here. Turn those toes out, shift the hips back, drop the shoulder in, and then come up to center and drop the other shoulder. Ear going toward the floor and up and down for those inner thighs. Coming up, going down to the other side. You're nice and warm now. And then come center, chins in, heads down. And roll it up to your finish. That is it. I want you to share this workout with somebody. Say, come on, let's do this together. Give me a like. Make sure you share that. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. I'm trying to just get my subscriptions to go a little bit higher. So I'm shooting up, getting a little bit more because we are gonna work together a lot more now that I am back and not traveling. <laughs> so please subscribe, tell a friend, and let's keep working out together. Have a great day.